Second Chronicles chapter 17, Jehoshaphat, king of Judah. Jehoshaphat, his son, succeeded him as king and strengthened himself against Israel. He stationed troops in all the fortified cities of Judah and put garrisons in Judah and in the towns of Ephraim that his father Asa had captured. The Lord was with Jehoshaphat because in his early years he walked in the ways his father David had followed. He did not consult the Baals, but sought the God of his father and followed his commands rather than the practices of Israel. The Lord established the kingdom under his control, and all Judah brought gifts to Jehoshaphat so that he had great wealth and honor. His heart was devoted to the ways of the Lord. Furthermore, he removed the high places and the Asherah poles from Judah. In the third year of his reign, he sent his officials Ben-Hael, Obadiah, Zechariah, Nathaniel, and Micaiah to teach in the towns of Judah. With them were certain Levites, Shemaiah, Nathan, Zebediah, Asahel, Shemiroth, Jehonathan, Adonijah, Tobijah, and Tob Adonijah, and the priest Elishama and Jehoram. They taught throughout Judah, taking with them the book of the law of the Lord. They went around through all the towns of Judah and taught the people. The fear of the Lord fell on all the kingdoms of the lands surrounding Judah, so that they did not make war with Jehoshaphat. Some Philistines brought Jehoshaphat gifts and silver as tribute, and the Arabs brought him flocks, 7,700 rams and 7,700 goats. Jehoshaphat became more and more powerful. He built forts and store cities in Judah and had large supplies in towns of Judah. He also kept experienced fighting men in Jerusalem. Their enrollment by families was as follows. From Judah, commanders of units of 1,000. Adna, the commander with 300,000 fighting men. Next, Jehonan, the commander with 280,000. Next, Amasiah, son of Zikri, who volunteered himself for the service of the Lord with 200,000. From Benjamin, Elida, a valiant soldier with 200,000 men armed with bows and shields. Next, Jehozabad with 180,000 men armed for battle. These were the men who served the king, besides those he stationed in the fortified cities throughout Judah. 